another episode of Sam's Backpack. You've been very patient. I promised you a video about socks and now I'm going to get straight to it. So this is going to be heavily edited and it will feature my unpedicured toes and feet. Um, I did want to wait until I was able to scoot out and get a pedicure, but nobody has time for that today. <laughs> so the thing with socks is that they should not ever be underestimated if you're undertaking any kind of hiking or walking endeavor. And trust me on this, I know from experience. I've done a lot of long distance backpacking, mountaineering, hiking adventures over the last 12 years, and I have learned a thing or two about what works for my particular feet. So these suggestions are coming at you um, from my own personal experience, from my years of trial and error, and you're gonna wanna do the same kind of experimenting for yourself. BTW, if you hear a bird in the background, um, you're not imagining things, that is a cockatiel, and he is pissed right now. You would like to be in the video. All right, so um, I'm gonna start with the first mistake I ever made. And that was getting socks that are this thick. See how thick these guys are? Like that is some serious thickness. I do live in Canada. I do suffer from cold feet. So I thought, hey, let's get the thickest mother ass socks I can. And let's shove my feet now a size up into my hiking boots. And that was a disaster. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's a time and a place for those. I have discovered a number of solutions that I really love, and these are non-sponsored, um, but I will put some links on where you can find them down below. So we'll start with my favorite, 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 favorite brand of socks right now, um, and probably for the last five years running. I walked the entire Camino in them. Uh, I've been to Ecuador and Bolivia and all kinds of places in these particular socks. So I, I have had to replace them over the years, but they are phenomenal. So the brand is called Wright Socks. W-R-I-G-H-T. Let me just put them on. There they are. They're not too thick. They're ankle socks, um, but they're double lined. So somewhere along the line of my research, I read that double lined socks are a good thing and that they help prevent any friction burns, which helps eliminate blister, blisters. And that is the truth. These socks work excellent for my feet. Um, I've had this particular pair for probably three years now, and I swear by them. I will show you another pair of double lined right socks. Um, they're a little on the thinner side. They also came on the Camino with me, and you'll see that after, you know, 800 kilometers, they did get worn quite a bit, but they were so comfortable. And this is a fact, I didn't have really one blister on the entire Camino. And here's another interesting story. Um, a friend of mine who I met on the Camino, her name is Joanne, she told me that the heaviest load in our backpack is what we are the most scared of. And so for her, she had like a whole pharmacy of blister care options and, um, you know, just all the things like moleskins and like a whole, it was a giant Ziploc bag full. I wasn't that worried about blisters. On the other hand, I was very worried about staying disconnected from my family. So I had all these battery packs and charging cords. And the moral of that story is she got all the blisters because she attracted it into her world. And I lost my charging cords and my phone wasn't always working. And anyways, that's just a fun story. So if you stop worrying about blisters, the chances are you're not gonna get them, but you do need to be well prepared. So the infamous toe socks, I'm just gonna put my phone down. My legs are probably really hairy, don't care. Check these out. They are kind of weird, the toe socks. You gotta shove your toes into each little slot and um, it takes a hot minute to get used to them. They're ugly as sin. Look at that, super ugly. But these things, these things are awesome. I wore them all through my Camino. Um, at one point I put a sock layer over top because I read that that was a thing. 
And it's not a thing. You don't need to do that. The toe socks were great. They separate your little tootsies, your toes, and um, that also helps prevent blisters. Okay, some other brands of socks that I like. Anything by Smartwool that's not crazy thick. This was also by Smartwool. So let me, let me. Other sock choices that I like, lightweight uh, wool blend socks. These happen to be by Smartwool and I've gotten a lot of great wear out of them. Um, and I also really appreciate socks that tell me which foot they need to go on. Because, you know, when you're getting ready for your hike and it's early in the morning, you don't want to think about which sock is supposed to belong on what foot. So this one says left. This one says right. So last but not least, you cannot go wrong with uh, a pair of icebreakers. These are merino wool. Um, if your feet are anything like mine, they might get a little gamey after a long day of walking. And these guys repel odor and... Um, I found them really, really useful on the Camino. So to summarize, and I'm going to give you a few more tips to take care of your feet. Make sure you get a sock and a shoe combination that works before you hit the trail or the road or the path or wherever it is that you're going. Um, and buy a few different kinds of socks. You, they really make a difference when you put your foot into the shoe that you think you're going to get and you might find that absolute sweet spot and that is the combination you're gonna want. So get multiple kinds of those socks. Tip number two is to always swap your socks halfway through your day. You don't want like wet, yucky, damp feet and a clean, dry pair of socks makes all the difference in the world. Tip number three, don't Vaseline your feet. I have no idea why people do this. I never did it and it's never been a problem for me. Now, if you are a Vaseliner, um, you know, no hate, good on you. Your feet are probably baby soft. Um, I just don't really see the point. Tip number four, stop in the middle of your day to take off your socks and shoes and really give your feet a good rub down. Now, just to let you know, um, I do actually have some challenges with my feet. These are my feet. I have super high arches. Check that out. And as a result of all the years of walking and wear and tear I've put on my feet, I've developed these things called, um, <coughs> what the hell are they called? I don't know, plantar fibromas or something like that. They're like little marbles under the arches of my feet and they hurt a lot. So it meant that when I was in Morocco, um, doing the 500 kilometers across the Atlas Mountains, um, I ended up on the back of a mule a couple of days because I just couldn't walk due to these painful suckers. So the long story short is that your feet are really important. You have to start with the first thing that's next to your skin and that is your socks. Do your research, buy multiple varieties of different kinds and experiment. And the next video that we're going to do is going to be on shoes and what are the best walking shoes, hiking shoes for where you're heading next. Thank you for watching this entire eight minute video and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.